Hello my friends and welcome to a new creative project that spans two episodes. We are going to create a sci-fi city together. In the first episode I'm going to show you a very simple trick how to create it and adjust the color so it looks really nice. In the second episode we're going to fill it with interesting elements to make it more alive and believable. So hello my friends and let's get started. We are starting with a very simple picture just of a city. I think this is Bangkok and the first trick to do, and this is really simple, select the layer, of course, make sure it's unlocked and it's pixel, not image. Over here it says pixel in brackets and go up here to filters where it says distort and then it says mirror. And here you can create really cool things. So with your mouse, when you click and drag, you can move this around and you see uh, that the mirroring is changing. Uh, this doesn't look good, but we have to uh, change the number of the mirrors so you can make two mirrors so you can make a lot of mirrors so you can go really crazy and um, create patterns and stuff like that and you can even with four you can create really interesting other looks that like more dimensional cities maybe something like that what we are going to do is we are going to use two mirrors you can see this is then upside down and it's also left to right. And this gives us the chance to figure out a nice architecture that is also repeating. And this kind of making elements in the city repeat makes them look more sci-fi because it has more this kind of tech look. So this is an interesting way to do that. And you can see it's really easy. You can experiment with different pictures and of course with different positions where the picture is splitting and... Um, so maybe this is a good position, looks really interesting. Let's click apply. So we have a look into our city, but the next thing that we want to do is to change the city look because right now it looks too normal, too everyday. And you know, sci-fi is often bluish or greenish or has kind of a violet look. So we can work with that. Let's create an adjustment layer for recolor. And we can set it, for example, to a nice blue. And you can set down here the blend mode and adjust this to get, and you can really play around with that. As you can see, a lot of this is really your decision. Where do you want to go with that? So for example, soft light works really, really nice, but multiply is also nice if you want to have a darker city look. So it's really up to you what you want to do with that. Um, Let's use soft light for now. So we have a brighter city and I want to make a second adjustment layer. So the first adjustment layer, look at that. The first adjustment layer was somewhere in the blue area and I'm going to create another one. And I will set this to the pink area or violet area and also set it to soft light in this case, or maybe, no, maybe not. Try around. Um, Lighter color looks pretty good. What is multiply? No, it doesn't work. So lighter color is pretty good. Of course, you can set the saturation, play around with that. Although you can see down here, sometimes it gives bad effects from the blending. So this is not good. Let's um, keep it up um, on full for the opacity or uh, the saturation, sorry, the saturation. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do another adjustment layer. And this will be for our, um, not color balance, but um, where is it? Selective color? No, split toning, split toning. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't find it right away. And here you can do some really nice things because you can change the color of the highlights and of the shadows separately. And this is really helpful for us. You can see... When I move this up, this is changing more of the shadow colors and I can move this around to again, change it into something that looks interesting to us. So maybe here is good. And you can also change the balance between those two. So that is nice. And like I said, just play around with that. Find a setting that looks good to you. Find something that you are happy with. And now we're going to do another adjustment and this is for the background here because a lot of the look of a picture and how deep it feels, how much you feel the space in a picture is dependent on not just um, the brightness 
uh, but also around uh, about um, how the color is spreading throughout the picture. So we are going to fill these spaces in the background with another color than the colors in the foreground. And this will give us, you will see, this will give us a very nice feeling for the space in the picture. So let's take our brush and um, set it to a good size like this. I will give this, um, let's set maybe red as the color. Opacity is at 20%. Hardness is pretty low, so we have a very soft um, brush. And we can just paint in here and don't take the first result. So I'm just painting in here some color. As you can see, there we go. A little bit here. So everything where you see background, we are gonna paint it in a little bit with the color. There we go. And a little bit more in the center. There we go over here too and then I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller or actually a lot smaller like this and make another stroke so this is getting darker in the middle there we go and with this small one we can even let's reduce the opacity to maybe 10% uh, brush in here a little bit and in here a little bit there we go so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to blur this layer a little bit so everything is looking softer. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, let's see, play around with the radius a little bit. Maybe like this. There we go. Okay. And now what we can do next is we can play around with the blend modes, of course, and then we can also readjust the colors to what we like it to be so um, we are really free to do stuff here and it doesn't really have to look red in the end it's just like we are using a color to give us an idea where we are painting and then we can readjust everything you can see when I take lighten or when I take screen or add it all looks different and I can really go for something where I feel like this is where I want to look to be so maybe overlay let's try overlay that looks pretty good and um, again we can take for example in this case we can also take recolor of course um, but we can also take hsl as the adjustment let's drag it on here there we go and now you can see we can change the color to whatever we like so it doesn't really matter too much as long as it is as long as it is a color it doesn't really matter too much what color it is so now we can change it and basically adjust it to the feeling that we want to have for the city i can't even actually i can't really remember what i did in the picture that i showed you in the beginning so maybe we should have a look at that and of course you can change here the brightness the saturation and the color Let's click here, OK, and have a look at the first picture I showed you, uh, which also has the horizon a little bit lower here. This is more violet and the background is blue. So uh, we can still adjust that. That's no problem. We still have our split toning here. So for example, I can move this over in the violet area, pink area, and work with that. So this is very nice when we have all these adjustment layers that we can go back and forth and see what kind of image looks good to us, what kind of um, effect we want to have in our picture. Maybe this is a little bit too much. There we go. And a lot of this on how good it feels, how believable it is, is really about going back and forth on these faders and try to find a setting um, that looks good enough and that is interesting to um, to you, basically, because this is your work. Is this actually... I think in this case we can really delete the second recolor adjustment. So there we go. Let's go in here again. Let's see with the settings. I actually like this a bit better with the pink background. Although a contrast is pretty nice, but I would like it to be darker in the background, actually. Let's see when we make this darker. Hmm. 
This is a nice color. I really like the blue because it has this kind of sci-fi feeling to it. So that's pretty nice. Um, let's go in here again. Saturation. Set it like this. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. There we go. And um, let's make another layer, another pixel layer up here. And um, I'm going to use um, just a brush with some black on it because I want to make it darker. So let's set this to black. Um, make the brush really big. Let's see, even bigger. There we go. I'm gonna scroll upwards a little bit. And I want to paint onto the upper parts here. There we go. Make them a little bit darker. Then I'm going to scroll down and paint over this several times. So I have a very soft, how can I say, um, vignette. But it's not really a vignette because it's getting darker on the upper part and lower part, but not on the side parts. I can stretch this out a little bit if I want to, to make the effect softer. There we go. And now you can see we have a nice um, direction of the light, you could say. So it's getting it's getting brighter in the um, towards the horizon of the city and it's getting darker up here and in the lower parts and this gives us more space in the city so you can really look into the space and that makes it more interesting and the next thing that we are going to do in the next episode no not in this episode is we are going to fill this with different kind of neon ads and maybe some flying cars and some neon lights on the ground so this really gets alive and really a sci-fi city uh, so the first episode is just about how do you create that and how to you, do you make it more alive and believable and have this nice kind of light situation in the city, in the city space uh, to make it deeper as a looking more like a 3D space. So thank you very much for uh, watching the first episode. If you like my videos, I'm doing two tutorials per week. So maybe subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can get my files with all the layers and you can get feedback on your creations and even suggest topics that you want to see in future episodes. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode, part two of our sci-fi city. Bye.